How do you get a marijuana charge amended to possession of drug paraphernalia? Let's find out. Hi, I'm Andrew Flushi. I'm your Virginia defense lawyer. And one issue that comes up with a lot of clients and potential clients is they don't want to lose their license for a charge of Virginia possession of marijuana. So what can you do about that? Well, there's other uh, issues we can do. Obviously, we can fight the case and try to beat the case and you would not lose your license. But let's say that all the evidence is against you and there's really no way to beat the case. What can you do to save the license? A lot of people are aware of getting the charge amended from possession of marijuana to possession or distribution of controlled drug paraphernalia. And people wonder how that happens. Basically, it's done. If it's done, it will be done by agreement. Um, it's not something that the judge really has the power to do. And in the Fredericksburg area, the judge would not exercise any kind of authority um, to just amend the charge on their own. Um, that's something that would need to be done by agreement with the Commonwealth attorney. And if they're not involved, then it will be done by agreement with the officer. Um, so that's an issue that you really need to have a defense counsel for to try to work out that agreement, to try to save your license and get the charge amended from possession of marijuana to possession of paraphernalia. Um, one thing you need to be aware of about paraphernalia, though, is it is a, a, a pretty uh, hefty charge in and of itself. It's a class one misdemeanor, and it's for possession of more hardcore type drug paraphernalia. It's not really about grinders and bongs and marijuana stuff. It's more about hardcore paraphernalia, such as syringes and needles. Um, and so that's something you need to be aware of, that uh, depending on your prospects in the future and jobs and whatnot, paraphernalia may not be the way that you want to go. But if that is a route that you want to take, um, that's something that I can definitely try to help you achieve. And we'll talk about that when you contact my office about your possession of marijuana case.